those are intimate, right? That letters, it, people don't write letters anymore. Dr. Randall Maurice Jelks considers himself the last of the letter writing generation. I'm writing these letters to help uh, us think about the, the, the very period in which we are living in, the very transitional moments that we are living in. In his newest book, Letters to Martin, Jelks writes 12 letters, or meditations, addressed to the late Martin Luther King Jr., framing his own experiences to that of Dr. King's, expanding on his words and on concerns with the state of democracy, while also inspiring the next generation, the ones who might not write letters. I wanted to to write something what I thought would be inspirational uh, coming out of my own journey uh, as a person, uh, uh, as a child who was born in the South in the mid 1950s and growing up uh, till I was uh, uh, till high school and then we moved to Chicago. But even there, there were still the ongoing struggles for democracy. Like economic inequality and voting rights, some of the issues many are still fighting for. So I think Americans think about democracy solely as procedural, and that's important, but democracy is really at the heart of it. You have to make it, you have to assent uh, to democracy. You have to make a commitment to it. But Jelk says there's hope in that commitment and the struggles to get there. Struggle is something uh, positive. Um, we we have disagreements in the society, uh, but we have to come to terms with how to how are we going to do this? Are we going to just run over each other, or we are going to have uh, conversations about the many levels where we feel included and excluded? In Grand Rapids, Aaron Parsegian, Fox 17 News. Jelks is a former professor at Calvin University and still calls Grand Rapids home. You can find his latest book at Books and Mortar, Amazon, or at the Grand Rapids Public Library.